What is up? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use Regex with your JavaScript to do some cool stuff. I know that is very scary when you see some Regex code but I hope you can understand it better after this video. So right now my goal is to match a phone number. So when people go to like a form and put a phone number and it match, it don't match, I'm gonna use Regex for that. So I'm here at rejects101.com. It's a cool app that you can use to code and add your rejects and they explain what you're doing. They have a bunch of things here explaining all the tokens, all the things that you can do. So I think it's one of the best out there. There's a lot more, but this is one of them that I really, really like. Now I have this phone number here that I want to match. So I can say here at the top, you can see that Regex starts always with a forward slash and ends with a forward slash and then you can add flags. So you can see a G here is for global. If you click, you will see global and different flags that you can use. Like for example, the I is gonna be insensitive, so case insensitive. So if you are searching for multiple words and you don't care if it's uppercase, lowercase, this flag, if you click on it, now you can see it's there, it will help you with that. Now it doesn't care if it's uppercase, lowercase. So right now I'm just gonna leave it with G, with the global one. So let's start doing something here, let's say um, 207, and you can see we have a match, 207. Um, if I copy and paste here the whole phone number, we have a match of phone number but it's exactly that number. It's matching exactly the number, 207-555, exactly that. So that's not what I want. My goal is I want to match three digits, three numbers, followed by a hyphen, followed by three numbers, followed by a hyphen, followed by four numbers. Or it can be three numbers followed by an optional hyphen, then three numbers, then optional hyphen or some people actually put parentheses and it gets a little bit more complicated. So it's gonna be like an optional parentheses, then uh, three numbers and optional parentheses, then optional hyphen. So now you're, you, you're understanding me how complicated it can get, but rejects can do this and it's not that complicated. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna remove that. So if you go ahead to this list, the first one that I want to find is the only numbers, right? I want to find three numbers is our first one. So here you can see, if I click on this one, this one matches a character from an A to Z. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna do match number from zero to nine. So let's, me, let, let's do square brackets from zero to nine. And you can see it's matching every single number, right? Because it's from zero to nine, so we have 10 matches. So let's close this. If you go to the list, there's another one here. So you can see backslash lowercase d. Remember, if you do instead of lowercase and you do uppercase, then you are selecting a non digit. What I want is digits. So let me click here. And you can see here, digits in this string is selecting one and two. So let's try that instead. Let's do backslash lowercase d. And now we're selecting all the numbers. So it's the same thing, but I think this one is better. So what I wanna do instead of selecting all the numbers, I want to select three numbers and then three and then four. So how we can do that. So let's close this. And let's see here. So we have this one, exactly three characters. So you can see using the curly brackets, you can add the exactly consecutive numbers that you want. So if I add a curly brackets here after the D and, do, and I do three or the number that you want, you can see that it's matching now three numbers and then three and then three. And of course, this is not working because this is four numbers, but it's only matching three numbers. So what I want to do is I want to match three numbers and then a hyphen. 
And then the same thing, three numbers. And you can see it's matching. Yeah, we're getting there. And then a hyphen. Same thing. But instead of three, now this is going to be four numbers. And now we're matching the whole phone number, which is what I want, is my goal. But here is the thing. If I remove this hyphen, now it's not matching. We have a literally like a hyphen. It needs to be there to match. So I want that hyphen to be optional. So what I'm going to do to be optional is very simple. It's a question mark after the character. So if I add a question mark right there, and now if I remove that hyphen, still a match, which is great. This is what I want. So I want people to be able to add a hyphen or not add a hyphen. That's optional. So now in my rejects, that hyphen is totally optional. So we need to do the same thing with the other one. Let's add a question mark right there. So now if I remove this one, we still have the match. So I can go ahead and add them again. Perfect. We still have the match. Now, here is a problem that we're going to always have is because like if you keep writing here stuff and even before, we're going to still have that match. And I don't want that because if someone writes something like this, I don't want that to be a match. So if I go here to the list, you can see we have the start of a string and it's like a carrot. And then the end of the string is like a dollar sign. So let's go ahead and put that at the beginning here, the caret, which means the start of the string needs to be exactly all this. All right. If it's not all this, it's not going to match. Same thing with the end. So let's test it. Let's go ahead and remove all this. All right. Here you can see. So it's a match, but still. We have all this and this is not acceptable for me. I want to be exactly the phone number, how it is. So let's put the dollar sign at the end. And now you can see it's not matching. So let's remove all this. And now is what, what I want. So if you add something else here, it's not a match. Okay. Whatever it is, it's not a match. It needs to start just like this. If you add something at the end, is not a match. All right. This is perfect. This is what I want. So right now we're good. Maybe this is all you want this is all you need. All right. So one thing that I want to do is parentheses. A lot of people like to put those, right? So I want this to be optional too. So you're thinking, well, we can do the same thing as the hyphen and we can add the question mark and that's it. We're good to go. Yeah, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. So let's try that. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Parentheses, question mark. Now, this is not going to work. Why? Because parentheses means that you are creating a group. It's not the literal character. If you want the literal character, the parentheses, you need a backslash. All right, let's do the same thing with this one backslash. And now you can see the color changed. Now it's like a gray and it says it matches the character parentheses literally. And that's what we want. So now we have an optional parentheses and then three digits and then optional parentheses. And you can see it's a match. But now we have another problem. If I remove one of them, still a match. And for me, this looks weird. It doesn't make sense. So I'm going to create a group for that. So let's go ahead. Let's remove this um, optional parentheses, optional parentheses. We're going to keep parentheses, um, three numbers, parentheses, and we're going to create a group. So let's do parentheses and parentheses. Now we have a group. I know that this is the part that it gets confusing. There's a lot of like things going on here, but this is the good thing about having this app. If you click here on explanation, it's explaining everything right here. Everything you're doing is like a 
thing that you can just read and understand better your rejects, okay? So right now we're creating a group with a parentheses, three numbers, parentheses, and I wanna do or, it can be only three digits. This or is not gonna work, I just did it just to understand, just so you can understand what I'm doing, I'm gonna remove that right now. All right, so we have a group, let me add some space. We have a group, parentheses, three numbers, parentheses, or just three numbers, all right? Let's remove those spaces, let's remove this or, and instead of the or, we're gonna add a pipe, which means the same thing, okay? So if you hover, there you go, it's just like an or. So right now, let's try it, let's see if this works. I'm gonna add a parenthesis, it's not matching, because it's only one. Let me add the other one here, it match, perfect. I'm gonna remove, remove both, it match. I'm gonna remove hyphens, it match. Now, you can see that it's not perfect. You can keep adding things, like for example, I was like, how about these hyphens? You can do the same thing, you can start creating groups and, and conditionals and, and or. So I'm gonna leave that to you because I don't, I don't wanna give you everything right now. I want to give you the basics so you can understand it and then from now you can go. So now we're gonna go to JavaScript and use these rejects in the real world. So I'm just gonna close this. And here I have an HTML and you can see I have a phone number input field um, which we can put numbers here or even letters. Um, so let's see if this actually works. I have this JavaScript. We're gonna start by creating a variable with our reject. So let's call it, um, you can call it whatever you want, equals to, and remember, reject starts with forward slash, forward slash, and then everything needs to be inside here. So let's go ahead and put it in there. And then remember after, you can add the flags like the global or the i. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep it global for now. I'm gonna create another variable, getting my phone number wrapper, and then I'm gonna get my input field. So let's do const uh, phone number equal document uh, document query. Oh my gosh! All right, there you go. Query selector, and this is a uh, phone number. I think it is. This is all in my HTML, by the way if you are confused right now. So let me go ahead and show you. So here, there's a default phone number and then inside is an input. So let's go back. So what I'm gonna do is phone number uh, input equals to phone number query selector and then I'm gonna do input. Actually, you can do input here, but whatever, I like it like this. All right, now we need to add an event listener to that input, that way when you type something, it's listening to that change. So let's do phone number input, add event listener. We're gonna do input. And we're gonna create a function here. Let's call it get. Let's uh, call it get numbers. You can call it whatever you want. Whoops. And let's create that function right here. So let's call it um, get numbers equals to a function here. We're gonna have the event here. I'm using an arrow function, by the way. So it's gonna be an if statement, so we're gonna add a class or remove a class if it's true or, or false, so we're gonna do if, and here what I'm gonna do rejects, the re rgx variable, and I'm gonna use test, which is something used for rejects to, to say if it's true or false. I'm gonna do event, target, 
the value. This is getting the value of the field. Phone number input dot class list. Add. And my CSS is accepted, my CSS class. And then else. What we're going to do else, we're going to remove the class. All right. So that's all we need right now. We just need to make sure it works. So let's go ahead and save that. So let's go here. Let's test this. Let's do, I'm, going, I'm just going to do a random phone number. Uh, oh my gosh. There you go. It's actually working. So you can see here. Let's see. Let, let's inspect this element to see what's, what's going on here. All right. So you can see the class here. Accept it. And this is the class that is changing the border to green. It's that simple. It's just a CSS class changing the border to green. So let's remove one number and you can see it removing the class. That's the JavaScript that is going on. So let's go ahead. As you can see, it doesn't work with if you have if you add a letter. Let's remove this guys here. There you go. And let's add parentheses. There you go. So right now, Regex is working perfectly. So I want to show you um, where is this target value thing. So let's go ahead and console log here. Event. Actually, let's put it up here because we're only showing it if it's true. So let's put it out, out here. All right. Let's go ahead and test this. All right, so you can see every time you put a number, we have an event going on here. Let's open this. All right, and if you can't see right here, we have target. So let's open that and then scroll down a little bit and you will have value. And now you can see it's giving us the numbers inside that input field. And that's exactly what we want. We are trying to match this with our rejects and that's it. If it matches, it's going to add the class. If it don't, it's just not, it's not going to add the class. It's that simple. But of course, it can get very complicated because this is just only one simple block of code. And it's not like a form. It's not something that I'm sending. This is just me showing you how rejects can work with JavaScript. All right. And that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.